So I have a few errands to run and I wanted to chat with you all while I do them if you don't mind. So I am right now sitting in front of Joanne Fabrics. They are having a sale on their macaws patterns and there are three macaws patterns that I'm interested in. So I'm going to go in here and see if they have them in stock and I just hope that they do. I hope that they do. And let's see, another thing I want to do today is pick up my sewing machine. I took it in over a week ago to have it cleaned and just serviced. Nothing was wrong with it. I just wanted it cleaned. And I got a call that it's ready. So I am ready. I am so ready to get my machine back. So I'm going to take you with me to pick up my, my girl. <laughs> All right, so let's go and run in this Joann's real quick. They don't have any of the fall patterns. So I guess I just have to wait a little bit longer to get the patterns that I'm interested in. But that's okay. Hi there. Hi. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. I'm just coming to pick up my machine that I had serviced. Okay, and your name? You guys, I am not a happy camper. So believe it or not, I am just coming back from the sewing center again. Twice I've been. So I picked up my sewing machine and I came home. I was so excited to set it up. So I was putting in new thread and taking the cover off, of course, and putting in new thread, putting in a bobbin, doing all that good stuff. And I noticed the protective covering that goes over the control panel where you push the buttons to make your selections that you want for the stitching and everything. The control, the plastic covering over that panel had a crack in it. So at first I was like, wait a minute, you know, is it really a crack? So I'm leaning to the side and I'm looking, making sure it wasn't a glare, making sure it wasn't just me. And yes, it was actually a true crack in the plastic. So I was like, oh no. So I called the guy that helped me who was taking the machine to the car, I called him. And so he told me to bring the machine back in and I did, I took the machine back up there and the guy said that he could go ahead and order the part to have that little plastic covering replaced. So I am doing that. Now he did give me the option of leaving the machine with him. And then that way when the part comes in, they can just go ahead and fix it. Or he said that I could take the machine home with me and then he will call me when the machine, when the part comes in and then I can come back up there and bring the machine. And I was like, no, I'm here. So I'll just leave the machine. And he did tell me that it would take about three, no, he said four weeks. So um, I may be without my machine for four weeks. Although he did say that that is an estimate that it could come in a lot uh, sooner than that. So that's fine. I just want it fixed. So I'm okay and I'm grateful that I have a backup machine. And at first I was like, should I be concerned that something hit my machine that hard? that it cracked the protective covering. 
So that did cross my mind. But then I began to think about the other day when my husband and I were coming from the airport and something hit our windshield. And thank God the window was there and it acted as a protective covering and the contents inside the vehicle were safe. So I started thinking of it that way. And I said, well, the protective covering is on the machine for a reason. Yes, it did get hit or damaged in some type of way, which I have no idea how, but the contents inside the machine should be just fine. So I'm gonna look at it that way. And I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm going to get it fixed. And then when it comes back, I will be back to sewing on it and I'm not gonna even give it a second thought, so I won't worry about it or try to create something in my mind that's not there. All right, so next I will go ahead and get into what I am wearing. So the dress is an older pattern, and in fact, I actually made it last year. It is Simplicity 8635. I made it in a type of linen fabric, and I can't remember what view I made, but I'll put it on the screen somewhere so you can see what view I made. Some of the features in the pattern, there are pockets on the side, which I really love having in a dress. There are gathers that go around the waist. There is an invisible zipper in the back. The bodice is lined, and I like to use scraps when I do lining, so I did put some scraps in the lining portion of the bodice. And then there are really nice straps that crisscross in the back of the dress and the straps are really long which I like because you can tie them in different ways so you have options there so I really love that the only change that I made to this dress was to take off about two and a half inches from the hemline yes yeah, so that's it for the dress and the details and now I will show you what it looks like on with me kind of moving around and you can see the front and the back So that's the dress I really love it and before I go I want to leave you with a love share so my love share has to do with Gmail so if you've ever been typing in Gmail and you get text suggestions and you're not sure how to select the text I will go back up to my sewing room and show you how to do it okay so what I learned recently was if I am typing a message and Google will give me a suggestion like this. So not mistaken. Well, if I should happen to want that not mistaken in my message for the life of me, I could not figure out how to select that. So I used to hit return and it didn't work. And so anyway, what I learned recently is if you want to select the suggested word or phrase just hit tab and it will fill it in for you and then you can keep on typing I love this so I wanted oops to make sure that I shared it with you there we go